Alright, so let me just record this so I can upload this to YouTube in a bit. Alright, Air Plata first. Yeah, good morning. Uh, Cecil Pangi, good morning, Sir Lloyd. Morning, then second, si Hannibal. Air Plata, good morning, Coach Lloyd, Miss Apple, and Laika. Good morning, Lucky Talk. Good morning, Coach Octave Querido. Magandang umaga, Sir Lloyd. And also to Laika, good morning to you too. Mira, Parafina, Imperial, good morning. Air Plata, good, thanks. Um, thanks insights mo last na, last time kay E.T. Gain na. Hehe, <laughs> Coach. Pasilip, if pwede po uh, mag-TP. Congrats pala boss sa atin. Starbucks natin tumataasan. Definitely. Right. Um, yeah, guys. Um, our international... Uh, stocks are going up already. Um, Aramco is already available, by the way. This is the first night kagabi na pwede na trade si Aramco and it gained 4.93%. Very volatile on the upside. This is the second day. On the first day, more than 10% po ang gain ni Aramco. So, congratulations sa mga bumili kay Aramco. So, mga nag, ano, nag, um, nag IPO kay Aramco. Congratulations. Um, very good gains for you guys right but for now um, portfolio natin you see marami rami na pong up si Microsoft nag all time high Starbucks gain na ako nagsistart na ako mag gain Amazon medyo um, shaky pa and Intuit medyo shaky pa yung investments natin that's okay we're already profiting and we are up in our portfolio in the international market this is the reason why I am inviting you if you're in the stock market please go to the international market and dali dali lang po ng technical analysis international market right it w- works better in the international market so join us here okay um sana po mag uh, mag itoro na rin po kayo uh, if you want to create an itoro account please a little request from my end para suporta na rin po sa channel um please create an itoro account using my link yung may link po diyan sa video description like ar yan yung technical analysis natin mas gumagana sa international market because there is volume sa pse pahirapan right um Archie Kaburnay, good morning. Joy Pimentel, good morning, Sir Lloyd. I'd like to ask if it's good to buy Aramco. Right now, I don't want you to trade Aramco anymore. It's very high already. Um, always as much as possible. Wag kayo uh, Just wait for it to drop and then let it stabilize. And if it shows us signs of reversal, then that's where we get in, right? Um, I don't recommend going in for long term for Aramco kasi medyo... Um, Maraming, maraming against, um, the analysts are saying they're against Aramco's uh, IPO. So, yung climb niya, maraming investors, yes, but once um, the buying stops, magpo-pull back na naman yan. Let's just wait for the pullback. Overall, it's still a good company. So, mamaya na lang. Mas, wag ngayon na nakalipad na siya. Right. Mads, Mads, good morning. Vance Gomez, good morning. Ayan. So, let's start with our topic. Let me just get my slides really quick. Ayan. So, let me run the slides. And so, pag-usapan po natin ngayon is bonds investing in the Philippines. Right? There are two... No, no. What, wag muna sa two types of bonds. What are bonds muna tayo? Right? Ano po, ano po ba ang bonds? Let me share my slides. Ayun. Right? What are bonds? Ano po ba yung bonds? Bonds are debt securities. Right? So, um, para kang nagpautang ng pera, pero may seguridad. Meron kang papel. Parang resibo. And those are the bonds. These are bond, uh, debt securities. As a debt, it means there is one who is borrowing, may humihiram, and then there is um, one that is lending it. In our case, then tayo yung bibili ng bonds, tayo yung bibili ng bonds, um, tayo yung magpapahiram ng pera. Uh, right? Kung ikaw ang bibili ng bonds, ikaw magpapa, magpapahiram ng pera. It's either to the government or the corporates. Right? We'll explain more about that later. So, But just that that's just to make it clear. Right? As a security, it means the borrower is under, uh, the borrower is under legal obligation to pay the lender. So, by law, dapat kang bayaran yan. So it's very safe because it's protected by the government, right? Uh, not very safe, but it's safe, right? It, there are still risks in it, but very low risk. Seldom lang nangyari ito. Um, I don't think, um, yeah, yeah. Minsan minsan lang nangyari ito. Let's say in ten years, isa. No, um, mas lesser pa nga yan eh, right? So, it's very low risk. That's why we consider this as low risk investments kasi there are there are low chances na matatalo kayo dito sa bonds. Kaso nga lang, the rewards, because it's low risk, the rewards is also not that high. Okay? So, ganun po. Right? 
yung borrower, yung nag, nag-issue ng bond, the bond issuer, or yung humihiram ng pera, is called the bond issuer. Uh, meanwhile, ang lender naman, ikaw, na bumili ng bond, or nagpahiram ng pera, is called the bond holder. So, binili mo ang bonds, now you are the holder of the bonds. Yung humihiram ng pera, kasi siya nagbigay ng bonds, that's called bond issuer. So, I hope that's clear. Okay? So, those are, that's bond, right? There are two types of bonds in the Philippines. Si James Bond, <laughs> si Copon Bond, hindi. <laughs> two types of bonds in the Philippines, it's the government bonds, are also known as the retail treasury bonds. Okay? So, meaning, ang government ang nagbigay nito. Okay? Government bonds, or si government o mihiram ng pera sa'yo. Okay? Taka lang ha, palabasin ko lang yung mga aso ko, ang ingay eh. Moment. And sorry about that. Nakapaso kanine, so <laughs> gumulo. Alright, anyways, yeah, there are two types of bonds. Una is by the government. Sila yung humihiram ng pera sa yo. So it's called the government bond. Second type of bond is are are, are called Corporate bonds or long-term commercial paper, meaning ang go, ang uh, the business is borrowing money from uh, from the public. Okay, for example, si Ayala, gusto niya kailangan niya ng um, ng pera, maybe to expand or a project. They they usually say what the purpose of issuing the bond is. Um, kailangan lang ganitong amount, so they're issuing how many bonds, and then at this price, at this price. Right, so it's up to you if ever kukuha ka or hindi. And then they will tell you yung interest rate nila for these bonds are this um, percentage for maybe 5 years or 10 years, etc. So it's up to them. Okay? Right, so um, those are the two types of bonds in the country. Right? So, how do you earn in bonds na ngayon? Right? Paano ka kumikita sa bonds? Right? Earning in bonds, um, Right. Let me just move the slide. Right, earning in bonds. You are lending money to these organizations, right? The government or the business, de ba? So you're lending money to them, and you earn from the interest payments from them. So kasi humirim sila ng pera sa yon, bibigyan ka, babayaran ka lang na interest, and then after the maturity um, ng bond, I'll explain that later. Um, ibabalik nila sa le- sa yung pera, right? Pero yung interest rate, hindi hindi pagka-maturity pa nila ibibigay. Um, they usually give it yearly, meron ding may annual, meron ding quarterly yung yung interest rates. For example, you're, you should be earning 100, uh, let's say 10,000 annually um, in the interest rates. And they're, um, and they're giving it uh, quarterly. So meaning ev- to every quarter, nagre-receive ka ng 2,500. And then after the maturity, bibigyan na sila yo, yung capital mo. Right? So, at least every quarter, uh, depending on the the terms, kumikita ka, right? Hindi yung after five years mo pa makukuha lahat, di ba? So, yun yung, that's how you earn in bonds. Okay? Um, next is, important terms, dapat mat, ma, ma, uh, malaman nyo when it comes to bonds investing. Number one is the par value. This is the face value of the bond, right? Or, at least simply, the amount of money you're lending to the borrower, right? For example, they're, they're, um, you're, you're buying... Um, you're buying ten, uh, one hundred thousand worth of bonds. Let's just use one hundred thousand, para ano, para madali ang math, ang hirap sa math. Eh. <laughs> hundred thousand. So that's basically the face value. The coupon rate, at the interest rate, magkano bumabalik sa you, um, from interest, right? The coupon rate. This is the interest or the amount of money that the bond issuer, yung corporate bank or government, will pay the bond holder. Okay. Um, usually, this is yearly. Usually, yearly po yan, right? Um, maturity date, right? The date when the bond issuer returns the money invested to the bond holder uh, or you uh, as the investor. Okay? So, ibabalik nila yung capital mo on that maturity date. You should, um, maybe 10 years, maybe 5 years. So, with that, it's long-term investment. Okay? Remember that. It's long-term investment. There is... 
um, do you can sell your bonds actually. Pwede mo pong ibenta. For example, 10 years yung bonds and after 5 years, kailangan mo liquidate. You can sell your bonds. If there is a buyer, then it's possible that you can sell it. Um, you may earn from that. I'll explain you that later. You may earn or lose money from that. Because there are instances that your bonds rate will increase. For example, nabili mo ng 100,000, pwede mo mabenta ng 110,000. Pwede mong gawin yan. Then siya nabahala sa uh, makukuha niya yung interest rates every every year sa natitirang year. Siya na makukuha Nun, okay? So, pwede po yan. Right? There are factors that your bond's um, price are gonna increase or maybe decrease. I'll explain to you that later pa, um, para maintindihan nyo rin po. Um, there's this zero coupon bonds then para na gusto ko i-share sa inyo. Um, bonds that are sold at a price lower than the face value but do not give regular interest payments. For example, si Jollibee, magbibenta siya ng... Um, Zero coupon bonds at 5%. Let's say 100,000 yung um yung value niyan. Pero ibebenta nila na may discount, right? For example, 10%. For just for just for example sake, minsan lang nang nagre-reach ng 10% yan. Let's say 10% for 5 years, right? So they're going to be selling it now at 90,000 pesos. Then after 3 years, ang ibi, um kukunin nila ulit, bibigyan bibigyan kanila ng 10,000 pesos. Meaning, in 3 years, you earn 10%. Right? 90,000 mo binili. Ang um, binilik nila sa yung pera is 100,000 after 3 years. So, there is that also. Um, there's that instance also that that can happen. Okay? So, pwede rin ganyan. So, hindi na sila maglalabas ng pera. Yun lang. They just uh, sold it on a discount. And then, when it's not, when the bond matures, um, babalik nila sila sa inyo yung full amount. Right? Not just na 90,000 na binayad mo. But with the, inter uh, with the discount, Dati, um, they're going to be giving you 100,000 in returns. Right, so those are the important things that you need to consider um, in bonds. Um, before I continue the topic, puntahan ko muna ang uh, questions niyo. Baka may tanong kayo. Right, uh, before we continue. Kasi I'll be talking about, ito yung medyo magulo na part, um, understanding how bond prices are affected. Um, nagmamahal kasi ang bonds mo. Pwede mo ibenta yan pag nagmahal. Right, you, you can earn also. Uh, that way. Okay. So, let me go to the comments. Um, and Vance Gomez, morning, Sir Lloyd from Paris, France, 1.36 a.m. Pabati, Sir Lloyd, mga loving girlfriend. My loving girlfriend. Mga loving girlfriend tuloy. <laughs> Nabasa ko. Pataya ko nito. Pabati, Sir Lloyd, my loving girlfriend. Listening din. Patulog na kami kayo. Kagigising lang dyan sa Pinas. Thanks, Sir. God bless. Mabuhay po kayo dyan. Alas dos lang umaga. Gumigising for, uh, gising pa rin for the daily grind. Vance Gomez, thank you so much for the support. Uh, Jarl, uh, Red John, good morning. Ayan. So, good morning po sa inyo. Now, na, de next important question is, uh, paano ba bumili ng bonds, right? Where, uh, how do I, how do you invest in bonds, right? For government bonds, you can um, go to any commercial bank, right? Any commercial bank and ask if they are selling treasury bonds. You can alternatively go to the website of the treasury.gov.ph. This is the website. Please write it down, treasury.gov.ph. Hindi ko nalagay ito sa description eh. But I'll put this in the comments, treasury dot gov dot ph so check there if nagbebenta ng government bonds and then you can get government bonds all right um eto yung ginagawa nila ngayon three percent per annum po um one month maturity maginvest na right so you you can check this out if you click on this there's more details on this and pwede mo makuha ito right so yeah and then um meron pa itong parang para raffle raffle sa kila so if ah uh, sorry hindi ko na share screen ko so, yes, um, treasury.gov.ph, if you can see this on your screen right now, there's a promotion ngayon na if you'd buy the bonds, um, aside from the per annum na makukuha mo, is meron pang chance para manalo uh, for, uh, from a raffle, right? Promotion po nila yan ngayon. So, please check this out hanggang December 13, hanggang bukas, right? So, yes, uh, this is called, um, ang tawag ganito, um, panalo, uh, Premium bonds, premium bonds ang tawag nila dito. So please check this out. Okay, so um ano pa ba? All right. Um that's how you uh, buy treasury bonds um uh, from the Bureau of Treasury. Then for corporate bonds naman, uh, you can ask the treasury or uh in or the investor relations department, investor relations department of a company and ask if they're selling or offering bonds, which they sometimes call long-term commercial papers. Yun ba? Diba? 
Also, meron ding pag-invest ng bond funds, right? These are available through banks um, as a type of UITF. Pwede po, right? So, hindi ka mang IRA ng bonds, but um, it's a fund style. So, yung banko nag-invest sa mga different bonds and then yung increase and decrease ng prices, um, yung gains mapu- uh, mapupunta sa'yo. And through mutual fund companies, pwede din po yan. Always remember, Before investing in bonds, you should define your financial objectives before getting it. Remember, long term po ito, medyo mahirap po maghanap ng buyers nito if ever kailangan mo ibenta in the middle. For example, 10 years po ito. Um, what if you, in 5 years from now, you need the money, hindi mo basta-basta mabibenta ito, right? So, it's gonna be hard to liquidate it. So, you have to know your financial objective before getting into bonds investments. Kaya po, karamihan po sa nag-bond investments is yung extra na pera na, right? For example, you, this is your expenses, meron kang savings na hindi mo naman kailangan gamitin, and it's extra, meron kang insurance, etc. Nalagay mo na flat, and you have extra, you can consider uh, putting it in bonds. At least, pamana, 10 years from now, um, tumutubo pa yan, and then makukuha mo yung money afterwards, right? So, this is a good way to invest also. Also, um, if it's important money in the long term, for example, your retirement, you can also opt for investing in this, right? Uh, if it's your retirement funds because it's very low risk yung bonds, then it's good to invest in it. Kung pang retirement, ito, ito may pera ako. Um, this is, what is this money for? I always tell you that. Um, paano ba mag-invest? Saan ko ba dapat ilalagay? First is, ask yourself, what is this money for? If it's for long term, like for example, pang retirement ko ito, pwede mo ilagay sa bonds, right? Low risk, uh, kasi importante yung pera na yan, at least lagay mo sa low risk and, um, low reward the investment which is bonds isa po yan right after you have insurance for sure okay insurance po pinaka importante so get an insurance also okay now factors ito lang uh, i wanna i wanna talk about this these are factors kasi pwede mo ibenta ang bonds mo bonds bonds can increase in price or decrease in price right pwede po yan pag nang increase ng price yan pwede mo ibenta mas mahal and then kumita ka kaagad di ba So, in general, number one is interest rates ng mga banko. Ngayon, magkano bang binibigay ng mga banko sa, um, especially sa mga time deposits, mga ganyan, mga long-term na mga um, programs ng banko, magkano ba interest na binibigay nila? For example, yung US Treasury natin ngayon, 3% ang binibigay nila. What if ang bank interest rate is only 1%? Right? And you have bonds, um, you already have these bonds na nagbibigay ng 3% per annum. So, Um, if ever hindi na ito available, right? Kasi may time limit lang naman ito maging available. What, what if hindi na yan available? And people wants to invest. So they will look at now the bank. Kung ang interest rate ng bank is 1%, 2% lang and yours is getting 3%. Then there is your your bonds are going to be more attractive attractive to these investors. So they um If ever mas attractive yan, mas maraming gustong bumili dyan, nag-i-increase yung price ng bonds mo. Right? So, pwede mo ibenta yan na mas mahal kung may buyer. Right? Usually, may buyer yan pag mas maganda ang interest rate mo kaysa sa bank ng bonds mo. Uh, right? So, yan. So, in the opposite then, um, if ever an interest rates uh, rise to ba- uh, to uh, Uh, sa bank is mas mataas. Right? Say, for example, mag 4% or mag 5% ang bank ko, your bonds are less attractive kasi 3% lang ang bond mo. Right? So, if less attractive ang bond mo, mas liliit ang presyo niyan if kailangan mo ibenta. Okay? So, that affects bond rates also. Okay? Now, next is inflation. Inflation um, ng country. Right? In general, when inflation is on the rise, bond prices fall. Bumababa yan. Right? Kasi, Uh, pag-inflation, walang gaanong nagagastos, walang gusto maglabas ng pera, kaya pababaan po nila ang brand prices nila kasi para maraming bumili. Right? So, when brand, brand prices fall, ikaw, paano mo yung bibenta ang price mo kung mahal? Diba? So, magbababa rin ang presyo ng bonds mo. So, if you wanna sell it, it's you're gonna be selling it in a lower, lower price. Okay? When inflation is decreasing, bond prices rises. So, if you're into UITFs, yung mga... Um, tawag nito, mga funds, right? And then, nagbababa yung uh, value ng bonds, parang stocks rin yan. 
So, bumababa ngayon ang presyo ng mga bonds, bumababa rin ang value ng pera mo. So, pinaka-affected po nito are those who are into uh, UITFs or mga funds that are involved in in bonds also. Bumababa po yan. Okay? Um, the, uh, that's because rising inflation erodes the purchasing power of what you'll earn on your investments. In other words, when your bonds mature, the return you've earned on your investment will be worth less than today's um, uh, current value. But basically, pag inflation tumataas, bond prices go down. Right? So remember that. If there is bad news, inflation tumataas pin po yan, bond prices go down. If there is good news, maganda ang mga uh, maganda ang presyo ng uh, oil, ng gasolina, maganda ang economy. If the economy is doing well, bond prices, I mean, the inflation goes down and bond prices go up. Okay? Credit ratings, number three. Ito yung mga credit ratings na binabag- binibigay ng mga nagre-rate ng mga ano, um, ng mga, let's say, corp- companies to, um, to a specific bond, right? Basically, yung bond yung rate nila. So, mas maganda ang rating ng isang bond or ng isang company. For example, si Ayala, maganda ang rating nila. Um, paano ba nire-rate? Um, their ability to pay. If ever this company is doing well, usually they have high ratings. Pag mataas ang ratings ng isang company because they are good, right? In demand yan sila, hindi nila kailangan mag pababa ng presyo. So usually, if maganda ang rating sa isang kompanya, mas mahal ang bonds nila. Okay? So, mas uh, mas mataas yung presyo. Mas, ikaw rin, kung mag invest ka pa lang, mas mataas mo bibilhin yung presyo ng, ano na yan, ng bond na yan. So, those are things you need to consider also. Okay? So, and po, if you have any questions about bond investing, please post it in the comments. Right? Uh, so, we can talk about it. Again, this is low risk, low reward. Uh, investments. If ever you need this money in the future, this is important money that you need in the future, uh, you can consider placing it in bonds also because it's a low-risk investment. Right? Um, kung importante yung pera na yan, huwag nyo po ilalagay sa stock market. Please consider putting it into these, uh, uh, these investments. Um, Tubola Orgen, good morning, co- Coach. Greeting from South Korea. What are the requirements to avail bonds po? Right? So, for requirements, just go to the Treasury um, Department of uh, Finance. And alam ko, dalawang valid ID yan eh. And then, there, there's the process that you need to go through. So, madali lang naman. Right? As long as you are, you have valid ID, yun yung pinaka-importante uh, for this. Okay? Uh, alin po best sa kanila? Treasury bonds, UITF, or mutual funds? Um, pinakamaganda is government bonds. Pinakamaliit po na risk yan. Kasi, Ang government, kahit na mag, magbaba yung economy, the government can always... Very good question from, from Orgen. Right? So, mas pinakamaganda is government bonds. Right? Though maliit ang binibigay nila for now, they're giving out 3%, like this one. Right? Uh, mas low risk naman. Taka lang ha, kasi nawala yung live ko. Alright, let me go to the live again. Ang government... Kahit, and so, um, government, mas maliit ang interest. Pero mas low risk po yan. Um, if ever, magka problema or magka yung inflation, etc. The government can always issue more money para mas malaki, mas maraming pera ang, ang pambayad sa inyo. Or they can always increase um, yung tax sa mga tao para may pambayad sila sa mga utang nila. So, that, that's the beauty of the government. They can they can increase their collection power. Right? So, it's very low risk. Pero, maliit lang ang reward nila, 3% for this. for this. But that, that's, oh, that's still okay, 30, 3% per annum. That's still okay. Right? Very good na rin po yan. Okay. Um, and, um, if you compare it to UITF or mutual funds, ang other side naman, kasi yung corporate bonds, pwede ma-bankrupt ang isang company. So, um, it's much more risky uh, looking at that perspective. Pero, um, seldom lang naman. If you just do due diligence, you, you just research the company, yung mga companies na yan, hindi naman basta-basta nag, uh, ano yan, nag, uh, nag-co- nag-co-close, nag-bankrupt ang mga companies. So, hindi naman nangyayari yan. Ang gaano. Um, ang kagandahan sa UITF uh, is and mutual funds is it's diversified. Right? Mar- diversified na yan at yung fund managers do the research for you. So that's the good side of it also. Basically, those both uh, both of them are good. Mutual funds tend to have better um, 
better uh, increase uh, than sa, f- uh, sa what do you call this, interest-wise, usually mas mataas po sila per annum, pero risk-wise, mas mababa ang risk with the treasury bonds. Uh, I see dito kasi sa SK Bulls treasury bonds here are 7% per annum. Yes, ang ganda sa ibang bansa. Ngayon, so, I'm not sure if you can get um, treasury bonds SK. So, if ever, mas mataas ang percentage dyan, that's the bond where you invest in, right? And South Korea is a very stable government. So, please go for that. 7% per annum is very, very good. So, a little review lang. Time check, it's 8.58. A little review. How much percentage ba ang investment, annual earnings is maganda? Kasi, ang mga Pinoy, this is true story, right? True story. Um, you know that um, yung first batches na may isda.org, uh, we were, uh, ang binigay po namin is 20%, di ba? Sa may isda.org, 20%. So, this is true story here. I experienced this in Cebu. Yung kaibigan ko, uh, na-scam na. Um, yung scam kasi, promise nila was 30% uh, returns every month. Right? So, ganun katindi. Um, so, when I introduced to him, pare, kasi ganito, ganyan, um, if you, you were in a scam, so let's move on na lang. Right? So, I introduced to him, if you want to invest really on a legit one, try mangisda.org. So, he asked me, magkano ba yung magkano ba yung returns dyan? And I told him na 20% per annum, right? I mean, not per annum, for just for the first batch, yun yung guarantee namin. The next batches is, will play between 10% to 20%, depending on the, uh, depending on the, the harvest uh, of that year. Right? Sabi niya, ay, ang liit naman. <laughs> diba? Ang liit lang daw ng 10, 20%. Right? So, how much really percentage is good for, for an investment? Since we have time, right? Um, let me just, I always ask this to people who answer me that if you have, if you buy a condominium, a condominium here in Cebu is around, yung isang bed, yung one bedroom uh, condominium should be around, on average, mga 3 million, 3 million pesos. If you have 3 million, buy a condo and then you rent it out. Magkano ba yung magandang rent ng condominium ngayon? Let's say around 15 per, uh, 15,000 uh, um, per month plus uh, minus sa uh, mga expenses and etc. So, malilinis mo dyan is around 12,000. If you receive 12,000 a month, let's let's open a calculator. So, I asked him, if you receive 12,000 a month uh, na passive income times 12, from a condominium investment, you are receiving 144,000 pesos. Um, is that okay for you? Okay na ba yung returns na yan? He said, oh, ang ganda na ng returns na yan. 144, wala kang ginagawa. Diba? Yes, that's very good. But I'll ask you, how much percentage is 144,000 of 3 million? So, um, let's get that. How, how much is, how much percentage is 144 of 3 million. Kasi hindi ako marunong mag-math. Right? So, actually, 144,000 of 3 million is 4.32% lang. But that's already very good. Ikaw mismo nagsabi, okay na yung investment na yun na passive income. Right? So, we, if we look at it at percentage, if we do the math, 5%, 4% is already very good. Right? Now, this is real estate investing. Um, sa passive income mo lang ito. We haven't fig. Uh, we haven't uh, put into figures then yung annual increase ng property. So if we consider that also, average is around five percent, six percent. Nasa ganon ng average ng annual increase depending on your location. So average for the Philippines around place around four to six percent. So let's say let's say in the middle five percent. So five plus four percent is around nine percent. Actually, 9% uh, returns is already very good investment for a passive income. Yung wala kang ginagawa. 9%, 8%, 9%, 10% is already very good returns. Very good na yan. Um, so, South Korea, 7% um, is already very good. Kahit 7% lang yan, that, but that's very low risk. If you risk in the condominium, pag nasunog yan, pag may nasunog lang na floor sa condominium nyo, um, your, the value of your condominium drops a lot. So, that's still there's still high risk in condominium investments. But 
Kaya po, ang ganda na po ng 7% sa South Korea. That's already very good. I'm telling you. So, yan. Um, any investment, passive income, that will give you 7 to 10%, even more than 5% is already a very good investment. If ever you wanna ask me. That's how you look at investments. Hindi po yung magkano tinatanggap mo every month. Right? Um, it's just that malit lang kasi yung nilalagay natin kaya malit lang po tingnan ang returns but in percentage wise we we'll always look you always look at this at percentage 8% is already very good 7% in South Korea is very good low risk napaka low risk na investment and then it gives you 7% annual returns that's already very good okay so wag po kayong magiging greedy sa percentage you also manage the risk also look at it on a low risk perspective um, if ever gusto niyo na mas malaki Jan, eh di magnegosyo na kayo. Dapat magnegosyo kayo kung gusto niyo mas malaki dyan. We're talking about passive income. Wala kang ginagawa. Okay? Kung sa banko mo lang nagay ang pera mo, 1%, 2%, minus tax pa yan. Minsan, less than 1% pa nga eh. So, it's better option than placing your money in banks. Okay. So, let's continue. Alright. Um, Tubol and urgent, <laughs> 10% is very good. Definitely very good. But I still get that answer. Especially sa mga... Pinoy na mas na entice sa malalaking returns. Okay? So, any more questions about bonds? Um, further questions, maybe, hindi na natin ma-discuss yan dito. We'll look at the PSE. Right? Yesterday, PSE. Punta na tayo stock market. Basically, we're done with our, uh, what do you call this, topic for today. Let's go to the stock market. Guys, hopefully, nakapag-start na kayo mag-invest sa stock market. This is our portfolio in the international market. International market. I always invite you to uh, invest in the international market through eToro. Um, kasi mas maganda po ang market dito. Technical analysis is so much better in the international market. Kasi there's volume. Volume, I mean, because of volume, because of the liquidity, technical analysis are much, much better. Right? Kasi naka-base po yan mga technical analysis on a healthy market. Um, pag hindi healthy ang market, walang pakialam halos sa technical analysis yan. Babagsak at babagsak pa yan kahit napaka baba na ng RSI yan. Okay? So, create an eToro account. Please use my link on the video description. Pag ginamit nyo po yung link sa video description, you can get access to our seminar with Miss RB Necesito. That's our, that's what, that was one of the best um, seminars we had for this year. Pinakamaraming attendees po on a webinar ever. Um, dito sa, at least sa, ano, sa, sa mga seminars ko. <laughs> but usually, mala, marami naman yan. Um, it's about day trading. How do you day trade, right? Miss RB earned September 100, on September 106% in just one month, right? Sa isang buwan, she was able to earn 106%. And she's sharing to you how she does that and we're giving it for free. All you need to do is create an eToro account using the link on the video description. Pag meron na kayong eToro account na ginawa um, and it used my link, you can send me a message in Financial Freedom 101, our Facebook page, and I'll check your account if it's under me. And then if it's under me, then you can access the video for free. For free po yan. So please create an account using my link. Okay. Let's go to PSE. Recap for PSEI kasi karamihan sa atin nasa PSEI pa rin. So, kahit na nasa international market na ako nagtitrade, hindi, hindi ko pa kayo pababayaan. <laughs> right. So, um, all stocks, all stocks. Right. PSEI, yesterday, let me just load my right chart. Charting. Okay, para sa inyo. Right. So, PSEI yesterday, close at 7741. Nag-green siya in the middle of the day, but went back down and nag drop. Right. So, PIP has the biggest climb. So, ang nangyari po niyan is um, magkakaroon po ng um, uh, there's a ch big change in PIP. Si Lotte, binili si PIP at around one point. Around this price pa rin. So, I can't recall magkano yan. But, that's the reason why nangyari po yan. So, if you wanna ask me, pwede bang bilhin yan si Lloyd? Huwag niyo na po habulin yan. Please don't anymore. If it goes down to 1.6, then okay lang. <laughs> Kasi bibilhin niya at 1.88. But I don't think um, it's gonna move anymore. So congratulations sa mga bumili kay PIP. I was looking at PIP because of this support right here. Um, then, news suddenly broke out. Sadly, wala tayong invest o wala tayong, ano, wala tayong insiders. Hindi natin alam yan. Uh, this happened suddenly. So it's a missed opportunity. So stay away from that. Um... Yesterday, I uh, nag-post ako about ISM. 
right? This was very red yesterday at around 3.20 and then I posted this sa sa chat room, right? If you haven't joined the chat room yet, meron po tayong chat room uh, sa Billionaires Club. I forgot to place the link here, but I can put the invite link here, right? Lalagay ko invite link sa ch- uh, mano. All right. Um paano yan? Invite people. Um no no no. Um edit invite link. Teka lang ha. Um never expiry no limit. Uh generate new link. Copy. Right. So, I'll put this in the comments. I mean, yes, comments. Please join our group. I think I can edit the description. Not sure if I can edit the description. So, lagay ko lang to sa description mamaya. But that's the chat room link. Yet. So, yesterday I I, th- I I I posted about this. May nagtanong kasi kahapon, ano bang magandang um nag si syntax trader naghahanap ng na submarine <laughs> right so at around 1 pm i posted about this uh this is about ism na yung entertainment nila ilalagay rin nila entertainment na negosyo ni Dennis Uy cuz we knew about this yeah he was going into entertainment and ilalagay niya under ism so i tweeted about this and then paglagay ko nito um umakyat na si ism na, na green right so also um there is someone who asked me sir Lloyd may possibility ba mag tres yung ISM I told him yes possibility mag tres um anong plano mo sir anong plan anong plano sir Lloyd I told um I told him I'm planning to buy more if ever reach that price eh, that price sir Lloyd pl- may pera ako dito pag nag 2.5 okay bang bilhin sabi ko sa kanya sobrang okay mas ma- mas mura mo pang nabili yan kay Dennis Uy. si Dennis Uy bought um, ISM at 3 pesos ba so we are reaching those levels nung magkano niya binili so he even invested in ISM for 3 pesos if this goes to 3 pesos why not ba if it goes lower then mas mura mo mabibili yan kay Dennis Uy. if Dennis Uy invested in it bakit ikaw hindi ba so I-, I told him that so this happened yesterday and then recover after that after the news si ISM so um around 3 pesos is uh, the psychological support of ISM, right? If it collapses there and goes cheaper, then man, that's already a very cheap price. You are buying it cheaper than um, than Dennis Uy. So that was the sentiments I shared to him about ano, about ISM. So we are already on divergence kay ISM, right? Even though prices are lower, wala na pong nagsisell off. It's not at oversold levels anymore. So, volume na lang inintay. Sadly, the market wala pang volume. So, we're expecting slow growth from this. Wala pang bumibili. Wala pang yung PSEI. Lagi pang selling. Right? Net foreign selling. Wala pa investors. Yesterday, net foreign selling buying natin is negative 300 million pa rin. So, still, wala pang perang pumapasok sa PSE. Bakit? Ang perang pumapasok, andun kay Nasdaq. <laughs> nasa international market. Nasa international market and SDQ. Ay, hindi nakikita dito. Nasa international market po pumapasok. And if you just, uh, if you have itoro already, you should have received the notifications. Sila Microsoft, nag-all-time high na naman yesterday. If you want to check out the chart of Microsoft, we're already up 10%. Microsoft reached all-time high yesterday. Sila Apple, nag-all-time high. So, sadly, hindi ako nakapasok kay Apple. Akala ko hindi mag, mag-boom si um, Apple, I mean, iPhone 11. Then, iPhone 11 was released around this around this area right here. Then, after that, boom, 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 lumipad na. <laughs> so, sayang, na-miss ko to si Apple. But, at least, nakasakay tayo kay Microsoft. But, Apple reached all-time high again yesterday. Sobrang dami. Starbucks was starting to go up already from the support. Um, these stocks are already moving. So, we entered here at the at around this support right here. And then, Starbucks is already moving up. So, ayan. That's a good trend for you guys. Hopefully, nakapasok rin kay Mark. Starbucks, MA20 entry. Very beautiful MA20 entry. I told you, technical analysis is much, much better here in... Ano, in the international market. This is momentum. This is a breakout. You can still use a breakout strategy for Starbucks kung gusto nyo pong pamasok. Right? I think this is gonna sustain and this is gonna sustain the growth. Alright. So, yan. Um, so, I'm gonna go now to your request. Meron pa kayong gustong ipacheck sa chart. Hindi ako nakapaghanda ng recommendations for today kasi I was preparing for the uh, for the presentation for today. Um, Alright, let me go to 
the comments. Alright, so Jake Paul has a question. Good morning, Sir Lloyd. Sa Itoro, ilan ang leverage na ginagamit mo? Thank you so much. Since I am into long term, I do not use leverage, right? Hindi ako nagle-leverage kasi pag nagleverage ka, there are overnight fees and it sums up. Hindi mo mga alam anong papuntahan ng stocks mo in the future and if you leverage ka, mas malaki malolos sa iyo. So, if if you're going for long term, do not use leverage para walang bayad. Okay? Wala pong bayad ang holding fee sa Itoro. Mag-leverage lang kayo if you're trading it for short term. Uh, I'm into long term right now on my port, so I'm not using any leverage. Uh, Joseph Tanel, Sir Lloyd, insights po sa SAOC. Pwede po ba siya for long-term investments at oil day trade po? Um, this is uh, Aramco. Right, SAOC po ang code ni Aramco. I cannot recommend it if you can see this. Nagkakasell off. It's very volatile right now. So, please do not trade it. Huwag <laughs> niyo muna i-trade. Wala tayong position dito. So, do not trade it yet. Yes, it's going good for long-term. But right now, it's not a good time to enter. mag long term kayo pag mura na si Aram ko. Okay, so I strongly recommend that. Hi coach, insights po kay C. Thanks. Alright, so Chelsea, Chelsea um nag-drop ka pa si Chelsea still heavy on the negative side. So stay away from Chelsea, but Chelsea is good for long term. Right? Um it collapsed from the support then nag-recover din naman after that. Uh we have divergence, so I think anytime soon if this goes green, then that will be a support bounce. That's a double bottom bounce right here. Triple bottom actually. So that's a very solid support area for C already. C is good for long term. Definitely a very good company to invest in. So yes, uh, these are nasa buy levels na tayo ng C actually. Ang um, pwede nyo gawin dyan kay C, pwede nyo po i-accumulate yan habang nasa baba. Janet Miguel, good morning. Roger Dahay, Coach D, ka nagtitrade ng commodities. Um, dati I trade. Uh, it was doing well uh, when we traded commodities. It's just that right now, Yung oras ko is not letting me trade anymore. And I, with, um, it, uh, not letting me trade uh, doing day trade. Right? Kinakain kasi ng oras ko sa mga pinagkakaabalahan ko ngayon. There's mangingisla.org. There's one business that I want to share to you in the future once it's ready. And that's what, yan po isa pinabibisihan ko ngayon. And this, mga travels and coachings. So, hindi ako nakapag full-time trade talaga. But, if you wanna learn how to trade commodities, Roger Dahay, Uh, hopefully, nag-create na kayo ng eToro account. Um, go to my Facebook page, Financial Freedom 101. Uh, leave this page. Meron po akong, uh, what do you call this? Meron po akong pinin dyan, right? This one, right here. This is the commodities trading with Miss Arby Necesito. She trades gold and oil, commodities po. So, if you want to learn how to trade commodities, join that seminar. That is going to help you a lot. Okay? That's for Raj Dahay. MPI, sir. Si MPI, ito. MPI, panic selling pa kay MPI eh. But it's very cheap already, I tell you. This is the cheapest it has been for almost 10 years. Yung presyo na ito, September 2011 pa ito na presyo ang narating ni MPI. So, it's very cheap right now. Right? I am contemplating on kung bibilhin ko ba ito or hindi. Okay? Very good company still. Yes, nadawit sila sa scandal ngayon causing the uh, causing the panic selling right there from amazing from 5 pesos naging 2 pesos. So, so kalahati kagad nang nawala. So, uh, bloodbath or MPI. But, whenever there's fear, <laughs> alam na po yan. Right? Uh, buy the fear. So, anytime soon, mag-bounce ito si MPI. Dapat you should be starting to collect this already. So, if kahit mamawala yung ibang projects ni MPI, overall the company is gonna be doing well. So, may hospitals po yan sila, etc. MPI is still a very good company. Want you, um, these are companies na pwede ka maging aggressive now. Right? While takot ang mga tao, right? If this stabilizes, then buy it. Right? If we see any stabilization from this, you buy it. If it goes further down, then buy more. Sobrang mura na po yan. Yung presyo na yan. Oh, pinaka, hindi ko na ma, hindi ko na ma move yung, ano, hindi ko na ma move yung, ano, ito yung mga, uh, ito yung prices na pinakamura talaga ni MBI. Yan. Right? So, if you see the, check the prices of MPI, yung dos na yan, yung, yun yung pinakamura ang presyo niya, around 230. So, sobrang mura ngayon ni MPI. Okay? So, I'd say, start accumulating it if we see uh, if we see a uh, stabilization for MPI. Sobrang ganda niya pa yan. 
Um, be aggressive when people are fearful. Francis Velarga. Green and DMC, sir. Let's check out Green. Kamusta na yung mga pumasok sa Bicor? Nung nirecommend ko si Bicor. Congratulations. Ang ganda na ng akyat ni Bicor. Let me just zoom in. Alright, so Bicor. There it is, Bicor. So I recommended Bicor on this breakout uh, horizontal line. So on this breakout right here. Right, so recommended it there. No, nag breakout, nag sustain ng breakout. So I recommended it here, and voila, taas na ng ano, taas na ng akyat. So from there to there, that's 65% gains already. Time to sell, guys. Magbenta na kayo. Congratulations sa mga bumili sa B Core noong na recommend ko pusya. Right, so green, let's check out green. Alright, so green. Um, we're looking at the support for green. Alright, this is the support for green. Nag sustain naman, nag nag -co confirm naman. I'd say, yeah. You can test that green. Napakaganda ng support ni green right now. So, when it reached that support, it broke MA20 and now it's starting to go back to the ano, to the support. Low risk. Uh, low risk position. Right? So, yes. We can test out green. Nag double bottom na. How to register? Ah, ne, meron pa si DMC. Si DMC rin. Nag green na si DMC. Hindi. Ah, kahapon pala yun uh, sa early part. So, DMC still touching the lower Bollinger Bands. We're still volatile on the downside. I want I want you to stay away from it for now. Right? Uh, medyo bigat pa rin DMC. Wala pa talaga yung market sentiment sa kanya. So, wala pa. How to register in eToro from... Uh, this is from Nino Roberto Enrique Zulueta. Andyan po sa video description. Yeah, you can check out the link. And this is for you, Ninyo. Alright, lagay ko na rin sa comments. Alright, para makita nyo po yung link. Please use that link and then register from there. Sunrise, Sunset, PIP Insight. Please, salamat. Huwag nyo po nga habulin yan. Nasa taas na yan. Unless na it goes lower than 1.5. Kung mag 1.5 po yan, pwede nyo bilhin. Pero right now, it's not. Sobrang mahal na po yan. Wala kayo makukuha dyan. Air Plata, Joint. Mads, Mads. Hi, Sir Lloyd. Pacheck yung Ali AEV. Si ALI, Ayala Incorporated. Right, si Ali. Looking good. Right, so price action-wise, maganda yung price action ni Ali. Um, Short-term trade. This is a possible support. May pullback tayo dito at nagsusustain naman. Another green right now should be a good support for Ali. If it goes further down, this is the major support after Ali. Yeah, actually, okay na to. I think this is a reversal sign. This is your support. If you want to trade Ali now, this is the best entry point right now. Pag nag-green yan today, definitely check it out. Pero short term lang ang position na yan. Ha? Medyo mahal na kasi si Ali. I want it to drop really before I want to I wanna invest more in Ali. AEV. And si AEV, nag-triple bottom, recommended AEV. Here? Did I recommend it here? I think so. Nag-triple bottom yun eh. So this is our support. So we have a mix of lower highs, and good price action, higher lows. Best entry point, hopefully, bumalik sa support. And then, we will test it from there. Ngayon, medyo risky na eh, right? I can't say for sure kung saan ito, saan, saan ito papunta. But um, company-wise, yung third quarter kasi nagpababa kay AEV. Eh. So, this support is the best time to, as the best entry point for AEV. If hindi tayo bigyan yan, that's not risk it there anymore. Sbox, Twitter, Macdo, Sbox, we just covered Starbucks earlier. Sbox is a buy. 9.21, time check. Starbucks, buy na po um, for the chart. Let's use uh, this, horizontal. Use a breakout strategy for Starbucks. Kaka-breakout lang po. Kagabi ni Starbucks. If ever there's a further confirmation, malayulay po po ang resistance natin. So, hopefully, makarating tayo dyan sa resistance for Starbucks. Congratulations sa mga pumasok kay Starbucks noon. Um, did, did, I did recommend Starbucks, Twitter, and McDo. Twitter. And si Twitter naman. Uh, range trade tayo Twitter. We are still playing in the support levels. Red siya kahapon. Uh, pag nag-green yan, at least confirmation po yun ang support. So here's the support area of Twitter. So just buy it there. Hopefully mag-break out. Pinakamaganda nito is kung mag-break out sa Twitter, at least confirmation po yun na uptrend na. Mas maganda if mag-break out sa Twitter, sa kanyang pasukin. Right, for McDonald's, one of the best food uh, investments out there. Para itong Jollibee si McDonald's. So, pag nag-break out si McDo, right. So, we made this an example yesterday. McDo did do a breakout. Nag-break out siya, pero hindi nag-sustain. So, if break, uh, McDo sustains a breakout, then that's an entry point for McDo. Right, after this 
good gap down for I mean uh, go down uh, pull back for McDo overall still a very good company it should go back up um, still McDo is selling uh, worldwide so yes this is a good uh, this is a good company to get into uh, Jake Paul good morning sir Lloyd M2 your daughter like her insights mo na NatGas and GBPUSD and binawi na ba ni Trump yung tariff um, US China trade thank you so much the reason why umaakyat ngayon ang international market is because we are already um, at the finishing uh, mafa-finalize na yung trade war deals right so yung trade deals na yung US and China is looking good so we uh, outlook of the market is very good okay so GBP USD nag all time low ito kahapon eh if i'm right was that GBP Ay, hindi. 52-week high pala siya. Right, nag-breakout for GBPUSD. Uy, massive growth. Congratulations sa mga nag-forex nag nito. Laki nito ah, for yesterday. So, congratulations. GBPUSD, wait for the pullback. Wait, pag na-pullback yan and then bounce, yan you buy. Uh, you buy. Because this is on a good uptrend right now, si GBPUSD. Congratulations sa mga nag-trade nito kapon. Laking pera nito sa mga nag-forex. Um, not gas. Si not gas naman kahapon, Nag-climb din na ah. 2% ba yun? Ayan, yesterday. So, yesterday. This is yesterday. So, nag-green kahapon si NatGas. So, congratulations sa mga nag-ano kay NatGas. Nag-invest kay NatGas. Um, we are still at the very cheap prices for NatGas. Right? So, there's a very high chance that NatGas is gonna go up. I'm not sure why nag-gap down ito. Usually kasi may news yan, pag oversupply, etc. Pag oversupply, nag-gap down. Nagre-recover din naman kaagad. I want NatGas to break this downtrend line. Pag nag-break yung downtrend line yan, then we can consider looking for a position. Right? Joseph Atilio, oil and gold, sir. Thanks. Oil and gold, I'm not updated ngayon. So, I can't really say. Uh, so, we can just look at the trend of oil right now. So far, oil is going on an uptrend, right? Pa uptrend naman si oil overall. Mukhang mag Yeah, nag-breakout si uh, oil and then nag-sustain yung breakout niya. So looking like it's still gonna go up. Yun nga lang may major resistances dito. Um so day trade na lang ito. Huwag na mong position trade. It's already very near resistance. Um oil and gold. Si gold naman no updates yet for gold. No, not GWPH gold. Alright, so gold, hmm, mahal masyado si gold ngayon eh, kaya natatakot ako kay gold eh. Though, nagtatouch siya sa upper Bollinger Band, so mukhang aakit nito. Ang ganda ng price action na, this is a good support right here for gold. Yeah, I think this is good. Malayo-layo pa naman ng resistance for gold, kay gold. So yeah, I think pwede ito for gold. Uh, anong oras, this is from Nino, anong oras po dito ang start ng trading sa Itoro, it depends on the market that you wanna trade in, right? Um, if you wanna trade US stocks, that's 10.30 in the evening here, nagtatrade ang US na stocks. Um, sila gold and oil, 24.5 po yan, so round the clock po ang ano nito, except weekends. Cecilio Flores, good morning sir, DNL, please, kamistay natin si DNL. Si DNL, nagi green na ito eh. Right, so, uy, after reaching the support for DNL, wow, good support, sana nahuli nyo ito sa support. So, range trade for DNL, we have a resistance right here. So, this is the best entry point. Nasa gitna na tayo. So, that's not good to enter anymore. So, sunod natin entry if it, if DNL breaks out. Alright. So, range trade lang tayo muna for, for DNL. Neil Ray Dumandan. Hi, Sir Lloyd. Insights mo kay Meg. Sa Itoro Gold and Oil, pwede po ba position trade? Pwede naman. Um, ayan, I, I covered that already earlier. Si Meg naman... Time checks is 9.27, so last three questions na lang po. Si Meg, mukhang nag-ano ah. Mukhang nag, nag-stabilize si Meg ah. This could be a good support for Meg, okay? Um, pag nag-confirm yan, that's another confirmation support. Careful lang overall downtrend si Meg. Uh, nag-fail yung unang support niya. Alright? It tested the support, then failed, then tested, uh, created another support. Usually, okay na ito. Right, so pag nag-green yan today, you can test it out. Make sure you just make your cut losses below that. But this is a very good pullback for Meg already. We have reached very cheap levels for Meg. This is the area where Meg started to rally. So we are at those levels again. So hopefully, ito na yun, Right, So pag nag-green yan, pwede nyo na, 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 na
Uh, pwede nyo lang pasukin. Francis Velarga, Bicor is live. <laughs> Ito, nakapasok to kay Bicor. Right. Uh, if red today, sell na. Yes, sell mo na si Bicor. Right. Uh, Joe Reggie. Kamusta si Reggie? Right. Fra- Francis Velarga. Thanks, sir. All right. Um, congratulations sa Bicor mo. Right. Laki ng panalo. Sa so for Billionaires Discord, yan. Yan yung DC natin. Moms. Jones Mayor, good morning, sir. GFC, please. Congratulations sa mga bumili kay GFC dito. Sabi ko sa inyo, bilhin na yun eh. This was a breakout right here. Um, and even discussed this kay sa Korea, South Korea. I told them to buy Jollibee already after this breakout. And then there it is. Jollibee starting to go up already. So, congratulations. Jollibee, huwag niyong bibilhin habang nasa taas. Wait for the pullback and bounce. That's the best entry for Jollibee if you wanna trade it. ISM. We wanna see if ISM will create a support. Na green na siya with the good news. Hopefully, mag support. But right now, we don't have any signals to buy yet. So I cannot recommend ISM yet. Psychological support is at around three pesos because that's how much uh, Dennis Oy bought it. So pag nag three yan, para na kayo si Dennis Oy. Kung si Dennis Oy nga binilian ng tres kayo pa kaya, di ba? So that's it for today. It's a Friday, Friday the thirteenth. Konti ingat sa market, um, look for supports, look for low risk positions. Yun po ang strategy ngayon. Do not be too aggressive on your positions because the market is not yet bullish. Always a reminder for newbies. And if you wanna trade, gusto nyo mag-trade talaga, please trade in eToro. Kung gusto nyo po mag- mukhang maganda yung ports ninyo, mas maganda po mag-trade sa international market kaysa sa PSE. Best sa PSE is investing right now because the market is very down, the volume's not there, walang pumapasok, walang pumapasok na pera. If you create an eToro account, you can get access to the free seminar that we have with uh, with Miss RB Necessito so you can learn how to day trade, right? She's sharing with you Um, her strategies, her preparation strategies, what news to look for, anong oras siya nagte-trade, what are the best time to trade in gold and oil. So andun po sa seminar yun. So please join, send us a message sa Financial Freedom 101 if you already have an eToro account using my link. Please use my link when you create an eToro account. That's it for today. I'll see you next week for more of the daily grind. Enjoy your weekend and bye everyone.